Dana Tyler, CBS2 News. And as you know, for years, we've been following a troubled school system, one that graduates just a fraction of its high school seniors. We've reported on the Hempstead public school situation for decades, and now CBS2 is taking a deep look, a close look at the crisis in a special documentary for our digital platforms. CBS2 News reporter Carolyn Gussoff spends a complete year, the academic year behind the scenes, following the educator who came to Hempstead Public Schools with a plan to change the fate of the students and reverse chronic reputed mismanagement. Carolyn. So good to talk about this because we've, I can't remember how many leads I've read on this about That's what's right. going on in Hempstead. The title is 37% of your documentary. First of all, tell us about that and what it means. Yeah. Amazingly, it's a high school graduation rate, 37%. Uh, you know, when I tell that to people, their eyes just pop. It's stunning. Pop. It is and it's stunning. sad. And we, we really set out to figure out how abysmal is that number? You know, I cover a region of the country where 90% and more uh, graduate high school. It's just a given that you expect that you're going to get a good, solid public education and you're going to graduate high school. It's only one indicator, but it's a very important mm -hmm. indicator. So we set out to uh, follow this past academic year and discovered that 37% is not only one of the, wor the worst graduation rates on Long Island, one of the worst in New York State, but it is actually uh, one of the worst in the nation. And working with the uh, U.S. Department of Education, we determined, Dana, it's pretty amazing, this one sheet of paper that I have in mm -hmm. front of me is the list of, of high school graduation rates in the country that are below 50 percent. Uh, one of this of, of this size, okay. you know, you have to compare apples right. to apples. So right. school districts of this size with under a 50 percent graduation rate, when you adjust for special needs schools, uh, juvenile detention centers, second chance schools, you come up with just about a dozen school districts in the nation that have an under 50 percent graduation rate, public schools. And Hempstead is uh, smack in the middle of that list. Uh, I've seen the documentary twice, and um, shock, disappointment, Learn I learned a lot. Um, of course, compassion, and just also for, there are many different parties here, compassion for these students. And just thinking in how you first said, all right, I've been reporting for CBS 2 News, this needs a bigger venue or a, a bigger right. platform. Why a documentary? And and tell us about that process of putting it together. Right. Well, it's most unusual uh, that a local television news station will take such a deep dive mm -hmm. into one complex subject. Um, but as you said, we've been reporting this for decades, and this grew out of a deep concern. I mean, how many years do you just sit on the sidelines and watch? And you know, you could tell a story in a minute and a half or two minutes every night, but. You know, what we did was most unusual. We followed the school system for the last year. Uh, you know, we've been watching turmoil and reputed mismanagement and I should say alleged mismanagement and dysfunction for so many years. And along came a year ago, uh, you know, the extraordinary hiring of an outsider mm -hmm. to try to fix what's wrong in Hempstead schools. And uh, we thought, this should be interesting either way, uh, you know, good or bad. Let's follow his his path. He was a Harvard educated uh, educator mm -hmm. and he had a reputation from for turning around troubled New York City schools. And he came in with a plan, he said, to turn around Hempstead schools. And we said, you know, we're on board. Let's watch what happens this year. But there was division and opposition. And, you know, that was interesting. Why? Why wouldn't people want change. Why wouldn't you want to increase a 37 percent graduation rate? And uh, that's what we wanted to know. So mm -hmm. we committed for the year. And the result is this, you know, full length documentary, really, that's, you know, never really been done uh, that I'm aware of in, in our local no, market. It's... And it's it's very interesting and it's shocking and it's very eye opening. With this um, new um, 
superintendent, superintendent, correct? That's correct, the correct yeah. title for Dr. Marker. Um, to see him come into it with his experience from success in urban schools and now to come here uh, and the re reaction to him and, and just how the different things you reported on, the meetings and what you witnessed um, and in putting that together, how the emotions are so high. There's a lot of anger. There's a, it's very difficult to sit through some of the school board meetings. And uh, as such, it's very difficult to watch parts of 37%, of I believe. Uh, there's a lot of anger. There's a lot of um, yelling. And, uh, you know, everybody on all sides of this, um, they, they say they're in it for the children. And, you know, of course, you give everybody the benefit of the doubt, but there's no question that the yelling and the, the power struggle and the, you know, name calling is, is not productive. And uh, it's been, you know, the brand of governance in Hempstead for decades. Mm -hmm. It's not just this year. And it hasn't really served the children. And, you know, whatever side you're on, I don't think that's opinion. I, I think that's, you know, anybody could agree mm -hmm. that the, um, the infighting is very um, nonproductive. What do you hope comes out of this documentary? Well, I hope that those in a position uh, to help will see it. I hope it'll be widely seen. Um, you know, you have to, as a journalist, you, we shed light on problems and then... Uh, you know, hope that the change comes as a result. I mean, there are some bright spots already in Hempstead. Uh, the state, New York State, has put in a so-called distinguished educator uh, who just this week came out with a report that says that some progress is being made uh, in regards to their budget coming out on time and uh, being more um, officially correct. But the big issues that we shine a light on, potential grade changing and mm -hmm. dumbed down work to increase graduation rates and, you know, kids being pushed through just to, you know, make things look good. Those issues, you know, I hope this, uh, this work will shine a light on because, you know, 37% you know, graduation in high school isn't everything, but it, it, sure, it sure is an important indicator in your life. And uh, we hope this shines a light on a, a really serious problem that affects thousands of children. Thousands, thousands of children. Um, I so look forward to hearing what you are, our viewers, you know, what they feel about it. And Me just too. as the school year approaches, I mean, the timing right now is very critical. Well, thank you, Dana. And I hope that everybody will watch it and share it and let me know what you think. Thank you, thank Carolyn. You. All right, fascinating documentary, 37%. You can find it only on CBS New York digital platforms. So head to cbsnewyork.com.